Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you. It is the hottest selling number one SUV on the market right now, the 2020 Kia Telluride. And then you also have the all new Kia's best selling nameplate for a long time, the 2021 Kia Sorento. This is all new for 2021 and the Telluride you guys have seen the tell you right before this is the hottest vehicle on the market guys stay tuned we're going to start this review right now all right so this is the 2021 kia tell you ride this is the s trim level so it's right uh, right kind of in the middle of the trim levels there um, and this is very well equipped let's start with the uh, the paint color around the outside both of the uh both this and the new sorrento have what's called the glacier white pearl paint color this is new for 2021 um, white color for kia used to be called snow white pearl but they changed it up a little bit and called it glacier white pearl for 2021 um, and it's it's kind of a little different color than the snow white pearl i definitely like it on the both the sorrento and on the telluride but let's start with the front here so projector beam headlights here these are not leds these are just regular halogen bulbs it does have an led daytime running light almost like a square here um, you'll see that right below that it is the turn signals no fog lights on the, the S trim, uh, but you could get fog lights optioned up and they would be right down here on the SX if you were to go with the SX trim level. But a nice little air vent there to, to kind of help with the aerodynamics on this vehicle. Coming around the front, I absolutely love the Telluride name spelled out on this vehicle. It is absolutely awesome on this vehicle. It makes it really big and bold and you know what you're driving and people in front of you know what you're driving as well, the Telluride. Uh, right below that, you have Kia Signature tiger nose grill um this is an awesome 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 grill here it, it's got a nice uh chrome finish big kia logo right in the front there and then right below that you have some air vents for your cooling in the engine and then you also have your front license license plate bracket here in the state of maryland we have to have front license plate brackets so you got that there if you don't have a if you're not in a state where you require front light license plate bracket you wouldn't have that right there but absolutely awesome front end Alex is going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole dynamic of this vehicle. It is absolutely stunning. The Telluride is the number one selling SUV, uh, or not, I wouldn't say number one selling, but the hottest SUV right now. Um, and people can't keep these on the lots. We, we can't keep Tellurides on our lot. It's absolutely insane. It's an awesome vehicle, guys. So let's transition over to the Sorento. This is all new for 2021, and this vehicle looks awesome i absolutely love the look of the sorrento i love the tell you ride but there's something about the aggressiveness of this sorrento that i absolutely love so good good lines here on the hood help with the aerodynamics and then also these are led reflector headlights so you'll see that led reflector headlights every sorrento is going to have led headlights down below that is a really cool uh daytime running lights that lights up uh white there which is really really cool down below that, there's really uh, nothing but just a little bit of front fascia here. Black uh, gloss plastic, a little bit of black plastic down at the bottom there. A little bit of airflow here. And then if you come on back up, again, a nice big Kia logo. Looks absolutely awesome. So this is Kia's new iteration of their grill, the Tiger Face Grill. So on the Telluride, let me, let me have Alex come back over and show you the Telluride. This is called the Tiger Nose Grill. So what the difference is, it literally is like a nose eyes nose eyes nose right so you're going to see a little break in, be, in between here with the tiger face grill what key has done is they've literally moved the grill and extended that grill all the way into the headlights there so that's why it's called the tiger face it doesn't kind of have a break in there to kind of make it look like a nose so it's got the tiger face grill an absolutely awesome awesome vehicle i'm gonna let alex zoom out a little bit on this one too i'm gonna get out of the way uh, and let him show you the the kind of dynamics of this vehicle as well looks and i mean it absolutely looks, looks awesome i can't talk guys absolutely looks awesome that is the new kia 2020 kia sorrento let's do this let's jump on back into the front here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys uh what well, i'm gonna show you guys the engine compartment and a little bit different the because the powertrain is a little different between the two so let's jump right on into the engine there i'm gonna cut this video let's jump into the engine right, right now. so opening up the engine compartments here let's start with the telluride so this is a 3.8 liter v6 engine 
Uh, we will put the, the horsepower and the specs right here in the video. It's just a little bit easier there for you guys to see. But this is a 3.8 liter V6 engine. It has uh, GDI and multi-port injection. Uh, GDI stands for gasoline direct injection. Um, and it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, great engine. Kia has, has had this engine uh, across in Korea for a little while, and this engine is very, very dependable, and it's very, very uh, powerful. You can tow up to 5,000 pounds in the Telluride here, which is absolutely awesome. So that's the, the Kia Telluride tried and true 3.8 liter V6. And uh, I'll have Alex bring it on up, and you can kind of look at uh, the engine compartment here. Very well organized. Battery is right there if you ever need to, to jumpstart your car or uh, change the battery. It's right there. So everything is very, very accessible uh, for you as the customer. Let's come on around here to the uh, 2021 Kia Sorento. So this is an all-new engine for, for Kia here. Uh, this is the 2.5 liter Smart Stream GDI and multi-port injection engine. Um, it is a very, very good engine. Um, Hyundai and Kia have developed this engine together, um, and it's going to be a very, very good engine for a long time for Kia. You're going to start seeing this engine pop up in a lot of Kia products, uh, the Sportage, uh, the, uh, all those kind of models there. Couldn't think of any others, guys. So, <laughs> uh, But this is hooked up to the 8-speed automatic transmission as well. Um, and they're going to have good, good fuel, fuel economy. I'll put the fuel economy numbers up for both of these. Both of these options are these models that I have today. Um, this is the 2021 Kia Sorento S with all-wheel drive. And that's the 2021 Kia Telluride S with all-wheel drive. So I'll put those fuel economy numbers up there so that you guys can see. Um, active safety features, let me put this down. You will notice on the 2021 Kia Sorento, they did go with the hood strut and not with the, the hydraulic lifts here like the, the Telluride has where it just pops right open. So that is a little different. Uh, if you don't like the hood uh, strut or if you don't like the hydraulics, you can kind of see that. Uh, but it's not a hefty, uh, hefty hood. Feels good, shuts really nice. And then on the Telluride, it's just pushing it down, which is really nice. Uh, so let's talk about active safety features real quick. So on both of these, you're gonna see basically like a, a little triangle here. And this is a radar sensor for your uh, all of your active safety features. So your lane keeping assist, um, your uh, adaptive cruise control if, the, if it was equipped. Um, it would also be a part of the uh, autonomous emergency braking um, that it has. So it, it, both of these are very well equipped with the active safety features. Both of them have blind spot and they all come standard on both models there, guys. So let's walk around to the back there. I'm going to pop the trunks open and show you guys the back of the vehicle. We'll be right back. All right, so coming to the back of the vehicle here, great design on the back of the vehicle. Um, 2021 Kia Telluride on my left-hand side, and then 2021 Kia Sorento here on my right-hand side. The Telluride was all new, brand new vehicle for 2020. Um, and so the design cues, I wanna say took a little bit, they're kind of similar here on the taillights there. The, the Telluride has like the L shape, upside down L shape uh, taillights here, and then the, Sorento has like the L shape on this side. So it's very, very similar on the back. Both of them have their name spelled out. So Sorento here on the back. And then on the Telluride, it obviously will say Telluride uh, right here on the back. Again, both of the S trim, uh, you'll see the V6 badge on the Telluride because the Telluride has that V6 power. Let's pop the trunks real quick, guys. So Telluride has the third row seat down, but let's lift these third row seats because this is where it's a little different from the Telluride and the Sorento. The Telluride is a bigger SUV. So you're gonna have three full three seats back here um, for passengers. So it's gonna have a two on this side, two seats on this side, one in the middle, one on the side, and then there's one on this side as well. So there's three seats in the back here of the Telluride. The Sorento is only gonna have two in the third row. Now, space behind the third row, because these vehicles are for families. Uh, you're you're going to put your family in these, and you're going to need a little bit of space. Let me show you a little nifty feature here on the Telluride. So it's got a, a good chunk of space behind the third row already. Considering the segment here, this is very, very big for the third row midsize SUV segment. But Kia does even something a little bit unique. You can take this little floor out, or you can slide it underneath of the bottom here. If I can get it, there it is. Push it down and it's going to add even more cargo space to the, the Telluride. So even more cargo space to this Telluride, which is already a big third row um, SUV, a, a third row midsize SUV. So it's got a lot of space already. Let's go over to the Sorento real quick. 
pop the trunk here. So you're going to notice immediately that the, the third row um, is only two. So you can put them down or lift them up however you like to with these straps, just like in the Telluride. Let me bring both of them up real quick and show you. So there's, there's two seats back here versus the three in the Telluride. Still very, very spacious. This just came off the truck, so you're going to see the plastic a little bit on it, so I do apologize. Uh, but you're going to see behind the third row, too, there is not as much space in the Sorento behind that third row that there is in the Telluride. So that is the benefit of the Telluride. It is bigger behind the third row, and if you use your third row a lot, it may be smarter to go more with the Telluride because it's got more space behind that third row. This also has the, the uh, it has a little storage nook under here. It doesn't have the, the nifty feature like the Telluride where you can pull the whole uh, layer out and, and go down a layer. This just has a storage nook down here, which some people might like because they can store their own stuff down there and no one even sees it, right? So if you like the storage nook, Sorrento is your way to go. If you like the extra cargo space because the floor is, is there, uh, the Telluride is the way to go. So if you need more space and you use your third row a lot, I recommend going with the, the Telluride because it's just a little bit bigger. But if you don't need that much space behind your third row, or if you only use one of the three, uh, one of the seats in the back there, or if you don't use your third row a lot, um, the Sorento is a great option for you guys. Let's go into the inside of the vehicle because it's a family SUV. Let's show you some of the comfort and the convenient features on the inside. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I forgot to show you this. Before we jump into the vehicle here, I want to show you the keys. So this is Kia's new uh, key design. It came out with the 2019 Kia Forte, and it's slowly been trickling into uh, Kia's lineup here. But what I want to show you is that on the S trim um, of the Sorento and of the Telluride, you do get a uh, remote start. And this is the, what you do is you lock the, the car twice, and then you just press and hold the remote start and the vehicle will start up. Um, so it's really nice that Kia has added remote start. The, from the S model Sorento and up, it will come standard. And then in actually every Telluride, you will get remote start, which is really, really nice. So let me stop pausing and let me, uh, let's get right inside the vehicle. And let's show you some of the comfort and convenience in the inside of the vehicle, guys. All right, guys. So welcome on the inside of the 2021 Kia Telluride. Um, absolutely awesome interior here. Let's jump right on in. I'm going to turn the vehicle on the accessory mode. And all it does, Will, it is, is uh, I just turn it on to, um, just click the button there twice, and it's going to turn on the accessories here uh, for us to show you guys here. So 8-inch um, touchscreen here, right inside the, right in front of you uh, is the infotainment system. This is the, the standard screen. You can get a 10.25-inch touchscreen if you go up to the EX or the SX here on the Telluride. Um, standard Kia touchscreen, so you got your radio controls here. You can turn up the radio, turn it down. You also have Sirius XM in this vehicle, and so you can have Sirius XM there. Let's go back home. Uh, you also have your media hookup. Um, so this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, compatibility, and it also has Bluetooth audio. So you can hook your phone up, play your music, uh, bring up your maps, however you guys would like, um, and you can use this media button to help you out there. Seek track, very traditional there. You can go through the different radio stations. Home button is right there, just in case you don't want to click the home button at the top of the, the touch screen. Uh, phone button, you can click it, and if you have your phone paired, you can call somebody. Um, or you can use the voice controls that are actually here on the steering wheel that you can use there to, to call people. Um, and then setup, or the star button here is actually, I'm sorry, I, I skipped the star button here. And what this is, is this is a customizable button. And what you can do is you can set this thing to an array of things here on the on the Telluride. Uh, and so you guys can go through those options there. Uh, it's quiet mode. You can do your phone projection, Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff there you can use. Um, on the setup here, you can go through all the setup here on the screen. So you can go through your sound. And if you like bass or if you like treble, you can change the different uh, tones here in the vehicle. You can also change the position. If you got the kids in the back seat, you might you know, not want them to have to hear all your music the whole time while you're on a trip. You can move the music up to here to the front as you're driving. Uh, so that's up to you, really, guys. Uh, it's really a good array of selection for you to kind of customize. So that's the infotainment system. Let's go on down a little layer. So you got your, your AC vents here um, that you can have on and move them around, all that good stuff hazard lights right below that and then here's your AC controls it is a standard AC control here on the S model you can get a tri-zone climate control um, for you your passenger in the rear seat uh, but that is on the EX and the SX it's not an option here on the S model uh, but you got your standard AC controls right below that is your heated seats control so the S model does have heated seats which is very nice uh, so you can turn them on right here three setting heated seats for you and the passenger Right below that, you have a nice little storage nook here where you can place your phone or your wallet or whatever you want to put there. 
two 12 volts, I'm sorry, just one 12 volt charger here, and then actually a fast USB charger, which is very nice. That, that is something new for 21, I like that. Uh, and then the USB port to hook up to the infotainment system uh, with your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So you can plug right on there um, and hook it up to the infotainment system. And then right below that, it's actually another storage nook. I had the keys placed down there, but it's a nice little storage nook down here that you can put, again, your wallet, your phone, whatever you would like to put down there, guys. Coming on down, nice little storage spot here that you could place whatever you like, change, anything like that. Two nice size cup holders here. And then right uh, next to that, you have your shifter that you can um, you can shift uh, through a reverse neutral drive. Here's the shifter right here. Um, this hooks up to your 8-speed automatic transmission. Right below that, you have your drive modes. Uh, snow, Eco, Comfort, Sport, and uh, Smart, actually. So there's uh, there's five of them here. Um, snow is obviously if you're in a colder climate um, and you're, you have snow, you can turn that on just by turning the knob there. You'll see it light up. And then if you uh, want good fuel economy, the best fuel economy this vehicle can offer, uh, go to Eco. And then you can go to Comfort for the smoothest ride, Sport for the most aggressive ride, and then Smart. So Smart's the unique one. So Smart will adapt to how you drive there, guys. So that is the drive mode selector. Right in the middle here, this is what's called the all-wheel drive lock mode. You can press that in, and if you are under 25 miles an hour, it will literally send 50-50 power to the front and to the rear of the vehicle, which is very nice there, guys. Below that, you had your electronic parking brake and all that good stuff, uh, which is really nice. So this is a really good setup that Kia has in this vehicle. Uh, right above my head, it also has the sunroof. Very nice sunroof. And then coming on over here to the steering wheel, nice leather wrap steering wheel. Traditional speedometer, tachometer, all that good stuff there. Um, and on the steering wheel here, it's a good design. It's a four-spoke design, really nice grip, and it feels really good on your hands. Um, but you have all your features over here, so your um, cruise control buttons, your uh, menu options, uh, and on this side, you have your phone options, uh, up volume up and down, mode for your, your radio. So there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, and there's a good bit of features here on the Telluride, and people love the Telluride, and absolutely do love the Telluride. Um, and that is what's made it the hottest selling uh, SUV at this point there, guys. So let's take you over to the Sorento. Let me show you some of the benefits of the Sorento as well so that you guys can have a good view of both vehicles. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so welcome into the 2021 Kia Sorento, the all-new 2021 Kia Sorento. Let's dive right on in. Let me show you some of the features here on the Sorento that the Telluride really doesn't actually have. So let's start with the infotainment system. So you're going to see a little different infotainment system. And the reason being, actually, is that we actually have Alex's phone hooked up to the wireless Apple CarPlay. That's right, wireless Apple CarPlay. The Telluride does not actually offer that. You have to actually plug in your phone to the USB port for the Telluride to actually use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. But with the, the Sorento here, it currently does have wireless Apple CarPlay here on this 8-inch touchscreen, which is nice. So... Let's go over here. Let's click on to the radios here. I got the music blaring. I do apologize. So radio options here are just like the, the Tellurides, uh, Sirius XM, FM, AM, all that good stuff. Media is the same as the Telluride. You're using your Bluetooth audio from your phone or Apple CarPlay, whatever one you guys have set up. Uh, the start button here is just like in the Telluride. It's a, it's a customizable button that you guys can use um, in the vehicle there. Seek track is the same here on the right hand side and setup is the exact same as that Telluride. Two knobs here on both sides, two knobs for the radio and then volume knob here as well. Uh, but the biggest thing here on the Sorento on the infotainment system is that wireless Apple CarPlay. It also has Uvo Link. Now the Telluride has Uvo Link as well and you can use your phone um, and if you get the subscription to Uvo Link, you can use your phone to uh, wirelessly uh, remote start your vehicle and it will give you actually status updates of your vehicle so if your vehicle is in need of an oil change it will send you a message and say hey i need an oil change um, and you can get that that placed in there so the uh, wireless uh, uvo link is very very nice on your phone coming back over here to the infotainment hazard lights down right below it you can turn those on turn those off and then you also have your dual zone climate control. So the Sorento has dual zone climate control here on the S model. Telluride has that one zone manual climate control. So the dual zone automatic climate control is very nice here on the Sorento. There are some, um, some buttons here that you can press. Uh, they're not actual press buttons. They're like capacitive touch buttons. So you just tap on it. It's like a touch screen almost there, which is really nice. Uh, standard AC controls though, just that it's dual zone climate control here guys, so you can have different temperatures on both sides of the vehicle, which is nice. Uh, air vents here are a unique design. 
pretty nice. And then you also have, uh, right below that, you have your kind of center stack here. So you can open this up and you can plug in, uh, it's two fast charging USB ports and then one USB port if you want to use your, your phone in the traditional manner and hook it up through this system uh, with USB. There's also a nice little storage area down here which is, which is really, really nice. Um, coming down below that, heated seats on this model as well. Uh, same three zone heated seats like in the, the Telluride. And then your standard traditional automatic, uh, six, eight speed automatic transmission uh, shifter here. Looks just like the Tellurides. Right below that, this looks again like the Tellurides. It's a little different design, but very similar. Same drive modes here um, that it was in the Telluride. And then there is a, a unique button here, um, which is the parking camera sensor here. So when you're backing up, you can actually change the modes um, that it's that it's using here, which is pretty cool. Uh, parking sensors uh, on the back there because it has the parking sensors. Your downhill assist control and then your auto stop start feature there, which is pretty nice, guys. So coming over to the, the steering wheel here, a nice design steering wheel. Kia has really done a great job with the design of the steering wheel. It feels really nice to the hand. Uh, it really, really feels good. It's a full leather wrap steering wheel here on the outside. And then on here on the inside, it's got your, your cruise control buttons here on the, the right hand side. And it's also got uh, some of the buttons that you can control the screen here in the middle of your tachometer and speedometer. You'll see them siphoning through right now um, just by clicking this button and then also using this little uh, up and down button here as well which is nice and then on the left hand side it's got your voice control uh, options here if you have your apple or android phone hooked up you can use either siri or google assistant and then you also have your phone hang up answer buttons here on the left hand side plus your volume up and down really really nice design steering wheel i really like it and the view outside of this vehicle is very very nice uh, it, it's very easy to drive it's a very nice vehicle over here in the middle um, you have a traditional uh, tachometer speedometer here uh, but it gives you a lot of good information um, you got your uh, cool hot m uh, for your engine transmission and then you also have your uh, empty to full gas gauge there which really really nice there guys overall i really really enjoy this interior of the the sorrento it looks very nice it feels very high quality um, and kia has come a long way um, just in the last few years and this vehicle is a signature moment for Kia and it, it, it's absolutely great They keep telling us that it's a storing telling vehicle and it absolutely is this vehicle is awesome guys Let me do this. I want to show you one more feature and then we'll wrap this video up I forgot to show you guys the captain's shares in the uh, in the tell you right So let me show you that real quick and the difference in the second row. I'll be right back guys all right guys, so welcome to the second row of the 2021 Kia Telluride. I want to show you this because this is a little unique to the Telluride. You can get captain's shares um, in the Telluride and in the Sorento, but on this S trim level, they come standard with captain's shares. Uh, and the captain's shares are really, really nice. I do enjoy the captain's shares just because they, they're easy access to the third row. There's also a button, and I, I wanna see if Alex can show you that button on the, um, on the, pass, or the driver's side here. There's a little button right on top of the uh, the seat there. You'll see it. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys in this side because it's a little easier to see over here. But what you do is you can press that button and there is a motor inside of the, the Telluride uh, in the seats here that will push the seats out of the way so it makes it easier. It's very, very easy. Let me show you one more time. There's also the buttons down on the bottom of the seats here. You can see them probably down there at the lower bottom. So it's really nice, very easy, accessible, easy for the kids. Again, you just press the button one time and it rolls out of its way. Uh, really nice and it's on both sides. Uh, and the Sorento has this feature as well, guys. So I want to show you that. Let's walk around here to the front so we can wrap this video up real quick, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a tremendous amount. It also gets the word out about these two vehicles and it helps spread the vehicle um, on YouTube with their algorithms. So, so thank you so much. Like and subscribe to my channel. This has been the comparison slash contrasting of the 2021 Kia Sorento versus the 2021 Kia Telluride. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can also visit us online here at Hertrick Kia at hertrickkia.com. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next one.